Alright, Brakata Yahawa. Brakata Yahaw Shai. Brakata Yahawa. Brakata Yahaw Shai. Brakata Yahawa. Brakata Yahaw Shai. I'm gonna say uh all praise and glory due to Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahaw Shai. Uh double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shout out to the Akim out there uh preaching in truth and sincerity. Alright, um, it's the brother Amar. Uh I'm making this quick video real quick, man, about um it's so like I'm looking for something, I'm trying to find my, uh I'm making this quick video real quick, uh basically about uh about um about Jake, man. All right, which is our people. And uh you know, bro, I'm gonna just say us as a whole, man, like the the uh the nation of Israel as a whole, man, cuz really, man, when you look at it at the end of the day, we all fucked up and we all uh and we all uh, you know, Got some type of filth on us, uh, regardless of we out there pushing the word or not. I was just thinking about some of the stuff, like, like you know, myself, you know what I mean? Like, um, I'm just like on like brothers' lives day to day, like our past lives, and then this, then the third. But it's just like, regardless of the of the fact that we out there pushing the word, just still, like, I can't help but still notice or think that we just still filthy. But, uh, you know. Lord willing, man, you know, uh, Yahweh Shimon Shah still find it um, in his, uh, you know, his heart, so to speak, you know what I mean, to uh, to really uh, purge us from that old man and from that filth, man, all right? It's, 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 it's a constant day-to-day uh, -day process, man. This is not just a one-time thing, man. Like, purging us through our filth, man, it always, it's, it, it's always going to be... Um, it's always going to be around, man. Like that filth on us is always going to be around as long as we on this other, as long as we on this side. But in the kingdom, the Lord is going to take all that away from us. All right. But um, matter of fact, before I uh, get the scriptures, I had class. I had a few scriptures lined up, and uh, this one like actually uh, just came to mind. So I will just grab this one real quick. Yeah, cause like I just said, man, it's just like no matter how, no, what do we, what we do on this side, like me personally, I just can't help but to think um, I'm still, you know, and somehow, some way, I'm still going off, and it kind of make, it, 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 it doesn't kind of, but it makes me mad, cause me myself, I'm kind of, um, I don't want to consider myself a perfectionist, but I'm like real, um, kind of, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I can't really think of the word, but I'm like real, uh, which call them about, um, uh, I can't even think of the word, so like you, man, but anyway, uh, uh, I guess tedious about like, uh, getting things like as close as, close as possible to being like, you know, perfect. That's just, uh, what kind of person I am. But I, I guess the word I'm looking for is meticulous. All right. If, um, brothers get a chance, you probably lick that up. But, uh, let me see. Uh, here we go. This is the book of um, Isaiah, chapter sixty-four, verse uh, uh, six. Six. It says, "But we, but we are all as a unclean thing." It says, "And all our righteousness, all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we do, and and we all do fade as a leaf." And our iniquities, like the wind, uh, uh, have uh, taken taken a, us away. Yeah, man. So uh, even though this is a T-shirt, but you know, nonetheless, man, uh, the point still stands there, man. Is that um, all right? Because like I said, we still at the end of the day, man. Like through the word, the Lord has uh, made us clean. All right, like which the side you see on the right. Side, so, all right, of this, of this shirt, of this, this damn uh, tie picture, all right. The word has made us like that, uh, like that, sh like this shirt on the right hand side. But end of the day, man, we still got that filth on us, man. All right, so this is like a perfect um, picture, I guess, to uh, illustrate what I'm trying to say. All right, but um, you know, uh, like I said, man, the, the word has made us clean, uh, and and in a way, you know. Uh, the spirit that is, man. So, you know, the Lord cleaned us up a lot. You know what I mean? Uh, as opposed to how we was when we first came into the truth, and He still is, man. He still is cleaning us up, and it's it's a day to day process, man. It's, a, it's actually a, a very hard struggle, man, for people that's not in the truth. If y'all don't understand, it's like to be in the truth. You know what I mean? Uh, brothers really go through some um, some 
really really fight some demons, man. Like I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, you know, physical. I ain't talking about physical demons, but brothers got to, you know what I mean? Uh, spiritual. You, know, well, I, well, you get the point. What I'm saying, man. Brothers, you know what I mean? Ain't like on the movie Constantine, but I'm saying like brothers. Uh, you fighting personal demons inside your head. You know what I mean? Or you might feel when you go to sleep. You know what I mean? This and third brothers know what it is, man. But it's, um. Nonetheless, man, I'm gonna get these scriptures real quick. I ain't gonna keep talking. Uh, this is the book of uh, John, chapter seventeen, verse seventeen. Yeah, because ultimately, how we how we gonna make our people clean, and how we gonna make each other clean? Because you know, when, when, when brothers, when we all get on each other, you know, you might have a rebuke, or a brother might uh, you know help sharpen you up on certain uh, points in your life and your walk. Right? That uh, that's that's cleaning us up, man. All right, especially when they use the scriptures to back it up. Uh, and it gets us like uh, this shirt that's on the uh, that's on the right side, not on the left. Uh, Sirach, nah, so, I mean John seventeen or seventeen. It says, uh, it says, um, it says, sanctify them through thy word, through thy truth. Thy word is truth, man. And we go to the word sanctify means holy, and then it goes into like the word cleanse. You know what I'm saying? And, and then uh, cleaning you uh, from your guilt and all that. Uh, like when you blue layer, y'all y'all know what I'm talking about because I did it. And uh, a little bit before I made the video, but uh, like I said, before you go into it, it basically means to purify, uh, make holy, make uh, hollow, you know what I mean? Separate, uh, you know, which that's the word holy mean, all right? And uh, like I said, before, that's, that's, what the, that's what this word doing is it's cleaning us up, all right? So, uh, same, like I said, I got to keep going back to it, same way how you see on the shirt, all right? That's what the Lord is doing, all right? With the word, though, you know? He's using the word to clean us up uh, uh, physically and spiritually, but more importantly, spiritually, man, because the spirit is what is what really was re is what really matters, man. The Lord is not looking on the outside, you know, because uh, the outside doesn't 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 matter, man. Especially, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, coming to this thing, man. You know, a lot of our people, they, you know, they look at you from they look at you from a uh, outward a worldly point of view, man. You know. And actually, it's the it's the spirit that counts. Uh, John chapter fifteen verse three say, "Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you." Yeah, man. Now you are clean, man. All right. So when we go out there, oh, oh, just let me to another scripture. Uh, just like I just read, said, "Now are you clean uh, through the word, man." All right, which I speak, man. Because when we go out there, man, we cleaning people up, man. All right, and like I said, folks, it ain't just it's ourselves too. Cause like when I um I catch myself when uh, when brothers reading certain scriptures when we out there in the highways and byways or when you listen to a brother lesson you know what I mean uh, when you at the house or you know whatever you know and they might have said certain things in the video or brought out certain scriptures that cut you you know, you know what I'm saying because I I, I I I did that before myself man I listened to certain videos that brothers made or the elders made they might have been talking about a specific topic or or uh, or, or speaking about something that that um. That's referring to me, all right, and and I, I correct myself, Lord willing, man, and not is it, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna do a curse cold turkey all the time, but you know for the most part, you know what I mean I try my best to uh, you know correct myself if I if I if I if I'm offending. First and foremost, you how when you how shy, or and then uh, secondly the apostles and then the brethren. If I'm offending them, you know uh, I try to correct myself, man. All right, and that should go as, uh, goes for you brothers as well, man. All right. But um, you get this in Daniel. Uh, the, like I said, this is another scripture I didn't really think about, but it just hit me. That's how the spirit works sometimes. Uh, Daniel chapter twelve, verse uh, verse three. It say, "And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever." Yeah, that's what we doing, man. We turning. Uh, we the wise. And shine as the brightness of the firmament, man. And we turning uh, people to our people, shall I say, all right, not to go off. We just like you. We turn our people, not everybody. We turn the uh, the ones that the Lord chose. Um, start with our apostle down. He, he he's using us to turn uh, the 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 our people to righteousness, man. All right. Um, like I said, so and that, that was like kind of. Well, um, I got some more scripture too before I close it out. But like I said, same way you see this shirt. That's dirty. All right, that's how we started off, man. But over a process of time, the Lord cleans you up with the word. All right, and and that and that that's that's what our people don't understand, man. Like this has to be an inward, an inward 
a thing, man. This, this can't be an outward thing, man, because that's what the Jews was about, man. They were, they were like when Yahusha was on the scene, man, the Jews were about the, the, the outward appearance and the outward man and you know they wouldn't they wouldn't focus on the inward man all right working on you know the inward man making him look good or you know what i mean or your, you start say your spirit look good all right uh and cleaning that up all right this is john chapter three verse uh uh let me see uh i get uh go to the point john chapter three verse 11 i indeed baptize you with water Unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Yeah, man. So going back, going back to what I said before. All right, we getting clean, just like how the shirt got clean with, um, or whatever. Uh, uh well, in this case, it got it was a tie. It's a tie shirt, a tie uh, commercial or a picture, should I say? It got clean with using that cleaning agent. And we use in our cleaning agent is the uh, scriptures, all right? Because I know from the beginning, I know brothers wondering why the hell I got a top picture <laughs> up on the screen. But bear with me, man. But uh, so like I said, same way John just said, uh, how the one the one that comes after him, which he was referring to Yahweh Shah, um, uh, he was gonna clean you. He was gonna clean you with the word, all right? But uh, let me see, uh. This is a, a classic one, real quick. Uh, one, Psalms 118, verse uh, 9. Gotta blow the dust off this one. Uh, word of thought shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to the, the word. It's, uh, yeah, so that's how, uh, that's, how you, that's how you clean yourself up, man. Like I said, just making yourself uh, uh, um, open your ear to your how about Shemel Shah. All right. And last but not least, uh, this is the scripture I kind of want to uh, the center, center it around. Cause uh, it was mainly going into that, but I'ma grab this anyway. You know, it's damn near the whole chapter, so uh, let's get to it. And I'ma end it with this chapter. Uh, this is one of my favorite chapters, by the way. Uh, Jeremiah chapter thirteen, verse one. I say, "Thus saith the Lord unto me: Go and get thee a, a, a linen girdle, and put it upon thy loins, and put it not in water." Huh. Huh. Man. It's like you. It says, So I got a girdle according to the word of the Lord and put it on my loins. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, Take thee the girdle that thou has, that has got, and which is upon thy loins. And it says, And arouse, arise, and go to e uh, Euphrates and hide it there in a hole of, of the rock. So I went and hid it by a. Um, by uh, by Euphrates as the Lord commanded me And it came to pass after many days That the Lord said unto me Arise go to Euphrates And take the girdle from these uh, Thence uh, which I commanded thee To hide there So then I went to Euphrates and digged And took the girdle uh, from the place Where I hit, had hid it And beyond uh, say The girdle was uh, murdered It was uh, profitable for nothing you know, uh, and that's how that's how Israel is, man. Jake started off as a clean, nice girdle, clean, nice white girdle, and then, uh, you know, through a process of time, um, you got you got dirty, all right, and uh, you you pretty much was it was it was it was uh, it, the, the the garment, all right, or the uh, the material wasn't worth nothing, all right, and that's how Jake that's how Jake is, man. You look at a lot of our people nowadays, man. I gotta say it, man. Jake ain't shit, man. You know, it's just, and, it's, and it's sad too, man, because you realize uh, the potential, you know what I mean, uh, that our people can have, man, when they apply themselves to something, man, and righteousness, man, because you see how you see how good Jake is when he's doing wickedness, man. Yeah, you look at like how how hard a nigga can brag and stun on the next Jake, especially in hip hop. You know what I mean? Just imagine if that energy was being redirected and, or should I say, directed and used for righteousness' sake, man. And, and, well, that's the that's the, the the brothers, man. The, the brothers, man. That's why you see the brothers on the highways and byways, man. Starting with our apostles on down, you see that energy that they emitting. All right, is is coming from a righteous power source, man. That's why brothers is flown. That's why brothers be flowing in spirit like that, man. All right, and you know and that's why people be gravitating to us, man. Because brothers be, you know, we be using that that that, that our talent, but for righteousness' sake. All right, getting back to the scripture. 
uh, Jeremiah chapter 13, verse uh, 8, it says, Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Thus saith the Lord, after this manner will I mar the pride of Judah and, and the great pride of Jerusalem, the evil people which uh, refuse to hear my words, uh, which walk in the imagination of their heart, and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them, uh, shall even be as the girdle, which is good for nothing. For as the uh, girdle cleaveth to the loins of a man, so have I caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel and the uh, house, whole house of Judah, said the Lord, that they might be unto me for a people and for a name and for a praise and for a, a glory and for a glory, uh, but they would not hear. Yeah, man, so that was pretty much the point, man. You know, uh, how Jake started off as clean and he got dirty. All right. <laughs> so you started off uh, on uh, in this case, all right, because I was saying how you started uh, he started off uh, dirty, then you clean. But on this scripture, all right, you started off clean, all right, because that's how the scriptures was, man. It says Jake it, it is Israel homeboy servant, and this and the third, and it talk about how, how we weren't really uh, uh, supposed to drink of the cup, but we drunk of it. You know what I mean? Uh, and then we the scripture talk about how the Lord planted a green olive tree, and how, how we turned to the, the, uh, the degenerate tree. Because the Lord initially created the Israelite man and woman to be righteous, all right, and be clean, all right. <laughs> Good clean girls. <laughs> That's from Martin. But anyway, um, yeah, yeah, we started off. We the Lord initially wanted us to be clean and and intended us for us to be clean. But like I said through over time, the Lord saw how wicked we was and he gave us over to them demons, man. All right, and uh, them curses he slapped on us. All right, and and uh. And then we turn to uh, that filthy side, which you see where it say before, you know what I'm saying? Which on the left-hand side of the shirt. And, but now the Lord's cleaning us back up. So now it's reversed. All right, now we're filthy. And now the Lord's cleaning us back up with the word, which is the scriptures, which is, I just grabbed a few of them. But, um, you know, Lord willing is edifying with that. I'm saying I'll praise to you. How about Shemiel Shah, Devon's to the Apostle Ellis, Great Millstone. And I shall want to occupy there teaching word of Heavenly Father and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, whom we do worship in truth and sincerity. And with that, I'm saying Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rachar Kadash, Barakatham. Wow.